welcome to blinds.com crafty at home today we have a great project for Christmas gifts if you want to make something homemade for your friends and family we're going to teach you how to make homemade sugar scrub what you need for this project is just regular granulated sugar that you'd find at the grocery store you can also use salt but I find that sugar is a little bit less expensive to buy in bulk you need baby oil canning jars we got these decorative ones just for two dollars ribbon, scraps, and some twine to decorate, permanent markers, scrapbook paper, and a spoon and a mixing bowl. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by pouring some sugar into the mixing bowl. No need for exact measurements. All right, and then we're gonna completely coat it with the baby oil. You just want to do the baby oil until all the sugar is coated. All right. You can see we're not seeing any white anymore. That's how you know you have enough. And then we're going to add a few drops of essential oil. I'm using vanilla today, but lavender is great. Um, if you want to do a relaxing version, just a couple drops is plenty. Mix that in. All right, then we're just going to fill up our canning jar with the scrub. This makes your hands so soft. Moms or grandmas or aunts or sisters would love this, but honestly, guys might not admit it, but they want their hands to be soft too. All right, fill up the jar, and now we're going to decorate. There's some really easy ways that you can decorate these. Because of the way the canning jars work, you can slip a piece of scrapbook paper underneath. We just uh, traced the top and cut out a circle, and it fits perfectly. Just like we did with this one here with the velvet ribbon. Or you can take just regular white printer paper or cardstock, decorate it however you want. You can write what scent you chose, say vanilla sugar scrub or something like that. So as I said earlier, we used ribbon here, um, or you can use baker's twine. That's um, a big trend in the craft world right now. But on this one, we're going to use rickrack, which is very fun and festive. Just tie it in a knot. And if you have jars that aren't textured, you can um, print off labels and put them on the bottom or do the same on the top. You can do adhesive labels that you print off on the printer. This is a great project for friends and family and you can make it in just an afternoon. So if you want more Crafty at Home, find us on YouTube. We have all our videos there. We're at youtube.com slash blinds. And we'd love to interact with you in our blog. It's at blog.blinds.com. You can also find us on Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. So come chat with us there and have a great day.